Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures with Spackman. Today, we're looking at a $40 hot tent from Amazon. It's sold by Preself, but the name of it is M-C-E-T-O. I don't know what that means. It could be an acronym for something, I don't know. But it's sold by the Preself Amazon store. Like I said, I picked it up for $40. So this is the cheapest hot tent on Amazon. Right now, you can still get the Gonix one for under $40. Actually, I think that it's on sale for $35, bucks, but it doesn't have a stove jack, and this one comes with a stove jack. And this one's got some cool features, so let's talk about it. So there's a few different configurations for this tent. My favorite is how it's set up now as an awning, a front porch, they call it, which allows you to have a much bigger stove than the tent is intended for. It also has two other configurations, a hallway version where both doors are open and the front wall is down. And then just a closed up pyramid hot tent that it comes in with two doors on either side and you can use either one. Now for $40, what do you get? You get a pyramid hot tent. It's a square, so setting up, set up is pretty easy. You stake out all four corners, put up the pole, then you're done. Oh, you get the inner too. You get an inner tent, you get a stove jack, you get, you get the middle pole. You do not get the outside poles for the awning. Those are sold, they, they say trekking poles. They use trekking poles, I just have tent poles. But you get a pretty cool, decent tent. So far, in my opinion, it's pretty cool. I haven't put it up against the Spackman water torture test, but that's coming real soon. Now for $40, there's loose threads everywhere. We'll find out how this affects the waterproofness of this tent. But right now, there, I mean, there's there's threads everywhere. I really like the option to have a bigger stove in here and have it wide open in front with the awning. Sometimes you don't want to be closed in your tent the whole time. And this allows you to bring a bigger stove for just cooler things to do with it, right? I like the inner tent. The inner tent's built well. There's double doors, one on either side. So it doesn't matter how you configure it to set it up. It's going to be the same on either side. It comes with enough stakes to set up everything too. And I still have some leftover extra. This stove is rocking, guys. I like this stove. This stove is wicked cool. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this stove in the comments down below. I can see fire coming right over top of the oven over these two burners. And then it goes down up and down and up. It's, it's, it's a nifty stove. Let me know if you want to see more of it. My leg is burning. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the Spackman water torture test of this $40 hot tent and see how waterproof it is. So as you know, I set up my hose for an hour. I check in at the 30 minute mark. If there's anything to relay to you guys, I'll let you know. If not, so you may be wondering why you are seeing me at the 30 minute mark. Let's find out why you're seeing me at the 30 minute mark. First off, let's look at the coverage. The whole tent is starting to sag from the moisture. All right, we're gonna go in together. But I mean, the whole tent, the whole tent's getting it. Coming in, coming in and out of here in the rain isn't that hard without getting the inside wet. because the inside's already wet. Like soaked, there's puddles everywhere. Everything's seam taped. Oh, there's water running right down in here. All oh, right up from this vent. And there's water everywhere, guys. On the back side. That's dripping probably from that seam there. Yeah, that's wet. Look how much water, wow. Even my bag is soaked. Look how much water's in here. water everywhere not this side this side's dry all right let's shut this water off and give you my final thoughts I mean it leaks <laughs> all right so final thoughts on the $40 pre-self 
MCTSO tent. It leaks pretty bad. Almost everywhere in the tent is wet. Except for like the vestibule part. This all stayed dry, which is strange. Like the sleeping area got soaking wet, but the stove area stayed dry. Even like the ground. Like when I came in here, it was dry. And there's Remy's butt. Sorry about that. The sleeping area just got soaked. So for $40, it's got some really cool setup options. And if you want to put the work in to make it waterproof, everything is seam taped, by the way. There's seam tape for everything, but it leaks. So if you want to seal it on the outside, maybe even seal the walls. The, the walls may need a, a silicone spray onto them too. I'm not exactly sure where all the water came from, but it was coming from a lot of places. So if you want to put some work into it, it's a $40 hot tent with an inner and a stove jack with a, many different configurations. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this tent in the comments down below. And let me know if you want to see more of the 100-year-old stove, my favorite stove in my collection. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. $40 hot tent. Puddles are us.